So I'm going to show you a very, very simple and light starter, and it's a seafood tian. We're going to use some beautiful Irish crab. So I'll talk about that first. So this is from Castletown Bear. So Ryan and his dad, and I've been out in the boat with them, and this is their beautiful cooked uh, crab meat. So it is, so it's from our beautiful Irish brown crab. We're going to mix that with a little bit of mayonnaise, some herbs and creme fraiche. So it's really, really light. Serve it with some uh, prawns, some tiger prawns little marinated tomato it's a really really quick starter and then some avocado uh, underneath that then i'm going to put some lovely smoked salmon and this is the simply better smoked salmon i have two different types just to show you so this is from the burren smokehouse Brigitte down there so this is the honey and dill so it's the organic irish salmon that we're using here or you can just have the smoked one and this one here is done with some whiskey so she's a fabulous lady she's very very passionate these are two absolutely wonderful producers uh, one ryan who does the beautiful uh, crab and then we also have the lovely um, smoked salmon so whichever flavor you're you're into you you like these um, smoked salmon is gorgeous with the likes of a uh, croissants with scrambled egg you know even with eggs benedict so it's very versatile even in a quiche it's gorgeous so first of all i'm going to do is just marinate my tomatoes so these are the little cherry tomatoes again these are grown in ireland which are gorgeous we're going to marinate them with a little touch of balsamic vinegar so this is just a three-year-old balsamic okay from medina so that's the pgi logo we're going to put a little drizzle of that and this works really well this is what i do a lot at home with tomatoes so i've just just literally cut the tomatoes in half and then we're using some extra virgin olive oil okay so a nice drizzle of this and then a nice pinch of salt and into that then i'm actually going to put a little bit of basil so some fresh basil and i'm going to get the grater here and we're going to put some lemon zest into it so i'll just literally take out my grater too many kitchen utensils here there we go now take that one out there so just with the grate of the microplane i'm just going to grate a little bit of lemon over that so this is gorgeous in a salad this is a little kind of tip for you uh, if you if you're into tomatoes which i love and i love this just with sourdough and a poached egg or a fried egg or both i love eggs uh, so a little bit of basil goes in there so it's lovely and fresh now we're going to mix this all together so that's our marinated tomato tomatoes if you can a little tip for you if you can leave this for a couple of hours or even overnight it's going to just get much nicer but we're gonna we're gonna serve it up straight away okay with my uh, crab i'm gonna put in some uh, mayonnaise a couple of spoonfuls of mayonnaise okay so that's just full fat mayonnaise some creme fraiche and this is a uh, produced beautiful creme fraiche from county donegal so i'm gonna put in two spoonfuls of that and then into that i'm going to use some of this dill now i can use basil or you can put in pesto but dill i saw it just in my local dunce and i just got it and i think it's a really nice herb especially with um, the salmon so i'm just going to show you just we're going to literally just cut this i could use my bigger knife which is no point in dirty another knife cut that you don't want to be too big or too small and that's going to go in there and we're going to put some lemon zest so this is going to give lovely freshness to the crab this on its own is beautiful the crab that i'm showing you here so we'll mix this in here the crab is already cooked and it's the brown crab that's one thing we have and we do so well is the beautiful seafood and shellfish and it's great to see so many people enjoying and eating more fish and seafood and shellfish so that's it's nice and, and and moist that's exactly what i want can i just tell you this is gorgeous over some toasted wheat and bread or just with some buttered wheat and bread it is delicious in a salad if you love crab meat honestly this is some of the best that that, that you can use okay we're going to prepare our avocado so just literally this one feels a little bit softer they're always a tricky thing avocados because when you get them you know you feel them in the supermarket and they feel kind of soft and then if they feel a wee bit firm just literally leave them outside your fridge so I'm just going to literally remove that. I, all I need is a little bit of this. And using a spoon, we're going to scoop this out here. Okay, perfect. So that just makes it nice and easy there. And then with the avocado then, we're going to slice this. So we'll just slice it across the way, nice and thin. See the way I'm curved my fingers? My mother used to do a little starter. It was an avocado with prawns and a little bit of Mary Rose sauce. So when you get avocados that are really nice and ripe, these ones are just, just beginning to get nice and ripe. Another day or two and they would be absolutely perfect. So just make sure if they're anyway firm that you leave them um, at room temperature and that will ripen them. Okay, so let's have a little check. Our tomatoes are done, the crab is done. Now that's our avocado. So if you want to keep the avocado, a little squeeze of lemon or lime juice works really, really well. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my plate. So this is a super quick and easy 
recipe that I'm showing. It's not really a recipe, it's kind of like an assembly uh, job because the key is the really good produce from our crab meat to our beautiful smoked salmon. So let's just lift up the smoked salmon. So I recorded one of my seafood shows last year with Brigitte. Now I've known this lady and we use actually her smoked salmon in the restaurant uh, for breakfast and if we have anything on at night time on our dinner menu. Uh, I just think she's fantastic. So nice amount of salmon just at the base of the plate and this is the honey and dill one that I'm using. So that's it there. It's beautifully sliced. It's all organic Irish salmon which is really important. And now the next layer of this is just our avocado. So we'll just arrange this nice little kind of fan. Very fancy, isn't it? <laughs> you could chop this and you could mix this through the crab if you wanted to. But there is a lovely combination with the crab and the and the avocado. Okay. Now we're gonna get a little bit chefy. <laughs> we're gonna use the little ring cutter and we're gonna put in our crab. So literally spoon this in here. Probably could have went for a smaller um, cutter if I wanted to. Just like I use this like for if I make scones at home. So just literally press this down. It just gives a shape. Listen, spoon in it. It's not going to taste any difference. But these are nice little tips for you. So kind of pressing that down there. And you can see how lovely soft and moist that is. I think that is the key. Mixing it with the creme fraiche, the little bit of lemon zest, a little bit of dill. Dill is an essential. As I say, you could use some smoked um, salmon, which works really well. And then I think this is beautiful these lovely little tomatoes. So I'm using the Simply Better Balsamic, I'm also using the extra virgin olive oil, and we have our lovely fresh basil and lemon zest. So this with any kind of salad, I do this so much at home. Kind of just arrange these on top. And these are Irish growing tomatoes. Here we go. Now, okay, it's gonna give that a little wipe the plate. Nearly there, so simple. So these are our prawns, I must show you. These are the black tiger prawns, so they're already cooked. So that's them there. You could use the Dublin Bay Langoustines, and if you're using them, they come from um, Skibbereen too. As I said, I've had the pleasure of going down, and you know, when you, when you see how hard fishermen and people within the food industry work, you know, they're the food heroes, to be honest with you. For me, it's just a matter of showcasing their beautiful product produce. And that's what we try and do in Simply Better, is um, using seasonal, Irish, local, she couldn't beat it. Just a little bit of a herb in this. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of dill, because I have it here. I could use basil, and this gives lovely freshness. Now, it can, it can be definitely be a very strong herb, but the whole thing about this is that it's very, very fresh. And just a little drizzle of oil. And Amela's licking her lips. <laughs> a little bit of black pepper uh, on that if you want to. If you like it, some people don't like black pepper. Just a touch. Just a little bit, you can overpower, just a tiny wee bit. And there we go, that's my seafood tea and it's very, very simple. You could blend up the avocado, make a guacamole with the mayonnaise, creme fraiche if you wanted to. But I think that looks really pretty. It'll make a lovely kind of um, a dinner party or if you wanted as a starter or a very, very light uh, main course or lunch. So it really does showcase really, really great Irish producers. I hope you try this very simple and delicious recipe. That's my seafood tea and thank you.